So if we think about the main mathematical problems um, in the middle of the 17th century, what probably springs to mind are those, those parts of mathematics which, so to speak, precede the calculus. Um, on the one hand, finding areas under various different types of curves, um, what would become the process of integration um, in the calculus. On the other hand, finding um, tangents to curves, so those, those lines which just touch a curve at a particular given point, um, finding those, those tangents um, would become the process of differentiation. Um, so if we think first about finding areas under curves, um, the main technique that's used, you have your, your curve, you can divide the area up into strips, um, possibly all of the same width, possibly variable widths. Um, if, you get, if you get it right, if you get the division into strips um, cleverly chosen enough, sometimes that can help you to find the area underneath the curve. Um, equally with finding tangents, there, is, there are similar techniques, similar geometrical tricks that will work in particular cases. Another really big issue that um, got a lot of attention from different mathematicians was infinite series, um, so sequences of numbers which go on forever and ideally at least get smaller and smaller, you add them all up and you get a finite answer. Um, some, some cases can be thought about quite easily. Um, if, for instance, we take numbers that are divided by two each time, one plus a half plus a quarter plus an eighth and so forth, you add them all up, um, you get it's fairly easy to establish that you get a finite answer, it's fairly easy to say what that answer is. Um, in other cases, um, particularly if the, if the series is um, defined using al an algebraic variable or more than one algebraic variable, it can be very, very difficult to see what's going on. But series of this kind uh, represent a very powerful technique for describing certain kinds of um, geometrical situations, certain kinds of mechanical situations, um, and they, they would become very important in Newton's mathematics. Um, like some of these other things we've talked about, they were worked on um, earlier in the century by other individuals, in this case particularly by English mathematicians, John Wallace, um, who was civilian professor of geom geometry at Oxford, for many, many years, um, and William Brunker, who was the first president of the Royal Society. What unites, perhaps, those two problem areas, um, finding areas, finding tangents on the one hand, and dealing with infinite series on the other, um, is this concern with processes which have no end, the infinitely large, the infinitesimally small, um, so in both respects, um, types of mathematics, ways of mathematical thinking that go beyond what had been done before, that go beyond what might have been found in ancient Greek models, um, a, very, a very new kind of approach to geometry and to number potentially.